Ramwick is a suburb located six kilometres southeast of Sydney's CBD. It's perfectly located between Sydney's eastern suburbs beaches and the city and provides that perfect lifestyle balance whether you are a young single or a family with kids. The owners of this property, Matt and Rochelle, are also the star team that operates Secret Gardens. They're famous for taking spaces and making them feel twice their size while injecting style that we'd all love to live in. And here we can see what they do best in their own garden when they have free reign. So Rochelle and Matt, thank you so much for having us here today. I've really been looking forward to coming and seeing your place. Coming to see the team that operates Secret Gardens and see what they do with their own home is pretty special. What was here when you first arrived? The house, we haven't changed too much. It had been renovated four years prior to our arrival and um, we liked the bones of it. Uh, we, we, we saw a lot of opportunity that would suit the style of house and garden that we wanted. It was the trees, the, you know, the aspect, and, and the privacy which we've continued to build on, we knew that we really could build our own you know, secret garden and, and something that we would you know, love to stay, stay in and, and have our children grow with for you know, many years to come. The, the block is essentially L-shaped um, and the, the bottom of the L, we've got the, the garage and a rooftop garden down there, but the rest of the block is a bit over nine metres in width, but 65 metres long. So it's very unusual and it's an unusual in that you don't actually, it's not a house that you get a view of the house. It's not about actually standing back and looking at the house, apart from maybe the front of the garage, that's all you see from the street, but it's all about being in the house and looking at the garden. In that pool, the fact that you come in and it does feel like a water feature, and then you come up to this side and it feels like a resort. You've actually captured that balance and you don't even realise you've made the transition yourself. Exactly. It's nice to have something that's a little bit different though as well, you know, and I think it is nice to have something that's so striking and, you know, when you walk through the garden, the first thing you see sort of as you come around is the pool and then up to the house. So, you know, rather than having sort of a little front yard and a little backyard, we've sort of got all of our entertaining area in one area. And it's rethinking how, you know, how we design a garden these days even for our clients because I think it's a bit of an old fashioned approach to think that the house should be positioned in the middle and there should be some space in the front and some space in the back. Right. Um, it's a pretty, can be a pretty awkward city, Sydney, and, and blocks are being carved up in unusual ways. Mm -hmm. And it's a shame when the front garden might get the best orientation on a site. So. You know, that's where the front of the garden, that's where our street address is. It was also the best part of the block as far as we're concerned because of the relationship with the trees. So it makes perfect sense that the front garden is our back garden. Each area of this garden comes into its own at a different time of day or a different time of year. And even when we have functions and we have other families over, it's a, it's a moving feast. We don't stay in one spot. There's plenty of activity, plenty of spaces to be in because all the doors simply pull back and, and we really do blur the lines between the interior and the exterior. Yes. It feels like a house that's been built um, to um, serve the garden. The way I love to use the garden the most, for me, it's, it's sure it's great with friends and family, mm -hmm. uh, but most importantly, with just with our family, uh, Rochelle, myself and, and the kids, our lives are so busy, um, even our weekends are busy. Yeah. Uh, our mornings, both Saturdays and Sundays are busy, so the best time to use this garden for me is when we've got our morning duties out of the way and we come back here, we jump in the pool, the barbecue gets lit, we can wander around in our swimmers, we don't have to worry about who's watching us and it really does feel, um, it, it does feel like our own little paradise. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for having us here today. It really is a beautiful space and what you do is amazing. So thank you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you. Lovely to have you here. Pleasure having you along. This garden has made me feel that the design of space doesn't stop at the back door. It goes out to every boundary. It caters to everyone. It captures light perfectly and the greenery frames it and rolls out its own green carpet to welcome you in.